Alrighty guys, now in today's GTA 5 online video, I'll be showing you how to put racing logos on any outfit you guys have in GTA 5 online. Now, before we start today's video off, I am letting you guys know, if you are new, make sure you do subscribe for more daily GTA 5 online glitches after the recent patch, 1.57. And if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit that like button as well. So, let's go ahead and get straight into this video on how to get any racing logo on any outfit on GTA 5 online. Alright, so first thing you guys want to do is just go ahead and make sure you have two characters and you guys want to start off on your second character. It doesn't matter what level the second character is, it can be brand new, but what you want to do is just go ahead and make your way towards this clothing store. Now as soon as you get to the clothing store, let's go ahead and go to the outfits and you guys want to go ahead and go to Air Racing Outfits. Now what you want to do is just go ahead and get yourself the Kronos Racing Suit. As soon as you have this, all we're going to do is go ahead and go to Interaction Menu, go to Style, go to Accessories. And you're going to go ahead and take that helmet off. Now, just to, as soon as you take it off, just go ahead, go back to the outfit section. You're going to go to Edit Saved Outfits, and you're going to save this in your second slot. Now, as soon as you do that, all we're going to do from here, just go ahead and back out. We're going to go over here, out of the clothing store. We're going to go to Pause, go to Online, and you're going to start up Creator. And I'll meet you guys in the Creator screen. Alright, so as soon as you load into the creator, all we're going to do is go ahead and go down to create a race. And you're going to go ahead, hit the tutorial. Go ahead and accept this alert. Now as soon as you accept it, it should you load you in, and you should be standing here frozen. So, all you want to do from here, is go ahead, go to pause, go to online, and you're going to hit choose character. Alright, now as soon as you load into your character screen, all we're going to do is go over here and delete our second character. So what you want to do is go ahead and hit delete on her. And I'll ask you to type in delete. Let's go ahead and do that. And as soon as we type that in, it should delete it. Now, make sure you guys do not select your first character. What we're going to do is go ahead and return to GTA 5 story mode. So what you want to do, how you do that, let's go ahead and hit circle. And it'll take you straight back to story mode, and I'll see you guys there. Now, as soon as you're back in the GTA 5 online story mode, all we're going to do is go ahead and go to pause. Go to online, go to play GTA 5 online, and you guys want to go into a public lobby. So let's go ahead and start that up. Now, as soon as you guys spawn in, let's go ahead and make your way to the clothing store on your main character. We're going to come over here to the outfit section. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and make our way to racing suits. So as soon as you see the racing suits, we're going to go ahead and click on them. And we're going to go ahead and pick on any one of the racing suits you guys want. It does not matter. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the white racing suit. Now, as soon as you picked one, what we're going to do... Go to pause, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created. You want to go down to versus and go ahead and start up crooked cop. Now you want another person in order to start this job. So I'm going to go ahead and invite somebody. And I'll see you guys in the job screen. Alright, now as soon as you get to the job screen, all we're going to do is go ahead and make sure the clothing is set to player owned. And as soon as we get another person inside the lobby, we're going to go ahead and confirm the settings and start it right up. Alright, so now we're about to load in. Here we go. What you want to do is go ahead and go down to own outfit, switch it once to the right. As you guys see, I had the racing logos all on this outfit. So all we're going to do is just go ahead and ready up. Now as soon as we load in, all we're going to do from here is just go ahead, go to interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories, go to gear, and go ahead and put on an earpiece or a rebreather, does not matter. And we're going to go ahead, click on the phone, go to job list, and quit the job. And I'll see you guys when we spawn back in online. So as soon as you guys spawn in now, all we're going to do is go ahead and go to the gun store or go to the clothing store and go ahead and change the outfit completely to whatever you guys want. But I'm going to go ahead and save it just to make sure we have the logos on our outfit from here on out. So like I said, you guys can go ahead and change the top, the bottom, does not matter to whatever you guys want. And yeah, so this is how you guys get the racing logos on any outfit. And I hope you guys liked today's video. This has been your boy Frosty. Back out again with another clothing glitch to help you guys.